we will now multiply 6 and 4 over 5 times 3 over 4 times 10 over 17. In multiplying fractions, make sure that there are no whole numbers like this one. If there are whole numbers, convert it into an improper fraction. So let's convert this one. First, we are going to multiply the denominator to the whole number. We have here 5 multiplied by 6. And then their product will be added to the numerator. This will be plus 4. They will now become the new numerator. So we have here. And for the new denominator, just copy the old. So we this will still this would still be 5. And then proceed with multiplication. 3 over 4. 10 over 17. This will be 5 multiplied by 6, 30 plus 4. We have here 34 all over 5. And still we have 3 over 4 and 10 all over 17. And then cancel out the numerators and the denominators. We can see that 34 and 17 have common and 17 is common between them. So we can divide 34 divided by 17 this will be 2. 17 divided by 17 is 1. And we can also divide 10 and 5. So 5 is common. 10 divided by 5, this is 2. And 5 divided by 5 is 1. We can also divide 2 and 4. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And we can still divide 2 and 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. We will have now 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 1. And we have here 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1. And this will be 3 all over 1 or 3 divided by 1 that is 3. Positive 3 now this is our final answer. We will now solve 2 and 3 over 7 multiplied by 8 and 1 over 5 multiplied by 4 and 5 over 9. To multiply fractions, make sure that there are no whole numbers first before multiplying. So in this example, there are 3 whole numbers. So we need to change the 3 fractions into improper fractions. We will start with 2 and 3 over 7. So we will multiply the denominator to the whole number. This will be 7 multiplied by 2. And then we will add the numerator. So this will be plus 3. And the new denominator now would still be the same denominator. So we will just copy the denominator which is 7. And then multiplied by, so multiply the second denominator to the second whole number. This will be 5 multiplied by 8. And then we are going to add their product to the numerator. So this will be plus 1. And for the denominator, again just copy the denominator and multiply this again multiply the third denominator to the third whole number this will be 9 multiplied by 4 and then add the numerator to their product so this will be plus 5 and for our third new denominator again just copy the old denominator 7 multiplied by 2 is 14. 14 plus 3, that is 17. So 17 all over 7 multiplied by 5 times 8 is 40. 40 plus 1, that is 41. All over 5. And multiply this. 9 multiplied by 4, that is 36 plus 5 that is 41 all over 9 
So let us check if we can cancel out some numerators and denominators. So 17, there are no common numbers that can be divided on the denominator. 41, there are also no common numbers that can be di divided on the denominators. So we will multiply now. We will multiply all the numerators. 17 multiplied by 41 multiplied by 41. And this will be 7 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 9. 17 multiplied by 41 multiplied by 41 we will have here 28,577 and for the denominator we will have here 315 now to find for the final answer we are going to convert this improper fraction back to the mixed fraction or back to the fraction with a whole number so to find for the whole number we will divide 28,577 to 315 28,577 divided by 315 our whole number is 90 and the denominator would still be 315 and to find for the whole uh, for the and to find for the numerator this will be 28577 we will just subtract this by the product of the whole number and the denominator this will be 90 multiplied by 315. We will have here 90. And for the denominator, that is 315. And for our numerator, that will be 227. Therefore, 90 and 227 over 315 is our final answer. Next, we have 8 over 12 multiplied by 3 over 16 multiplied by 5 and 2 over 3. So check if there are mixed numbers or fractions with whole numbers. We have here 1. We will first convert this mixed number into improper fraction. 8 over 12 multiplied by 3 over 16 and multiply this. Okay, we will convert, multiply the denominator to the whole number. We have here 3 multiplied by 5 and then add the numerator to their product. So plus and for their denominator, just copy the old denominator. This would still be 3. 8 all over 12 multiplied by 3 over 16 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. 15 plus 2, that is 17. So we have here 17 all over 3. We will now check if there are numerators and denominators that can be divided. So as you can see, 8 and 16, we can divide this since 8 is common between them. 8 divided by 8, this is 1. And 16 divided by 8, this is equal to 2. And we can also divide 3 here. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 3 divided by 3 is also 1. We will now have here 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 17. All over. For the denominators, we have 12 multiplied by 2 and multiplied by 1. 
this will be 17 all over 12 multiplied by 2 that is 24 multiplied by 1 now since the numerator is smaller than the denominator this is a proper fraction and we do not need to convert this to a mixed number therefore 17 all over 24 is our final answer next is 9 and 2 over 5 multiplied by 8 and 1 over 3 we need to convert this mixed number since they have whole numbers okay so let us convert first 9 and 2 over 5 into an improper fraction multiply 5 and 9 we have here 5 multiplied by 9 and then add to the product the numerator which is 2 and for the denominator the denominator would still be 5 and multiplied by we also need to convert 8 and 1 over 3 multiply the denominator to the whole number we have here 3 multiplied by 8 and then add their product to the numerator which is 1 and for the denominator that is still 3 5 multiplied by 9 is 45 plus 2 that is 47 all over 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 8 is 24 24 plus 1 that is 25 25 all over 3 let us check if there are numerators and denominators that we can cancel out 47 it has no common number between the two denominators so we cannot use 47 25 and 5 we can divide 25 by 5 since 5 is common between the two of them so 25 divided by 5 this will be equal to 5 and 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1 there are no more numbers that can be divided we will now multiply all the numerators so we have here 47 multiplied by 5 and we have for the denominators 1 multiplied by 3 47 multiplied by 5 that is equal to 235 all over 1 multiplied by 3 is 3 now since the numerator is bigger than the denominator we need to convert this improper fraction back to a mixed number let us first find the whole number we will divide 235 by 3 and get the whole number 235 divided by 3 the whole number is 78 for the denominator, we will just copy the denominator that is 3. And for the numerator, that will be 235 minus the product of the denominator and the whole number. So this will be 3 multiplied by 78. So 78 and the denominator is 3 our numerator here will be 235 minus 234 that will be 1 so 78 and 1 over 3 this is now our final answer next we have 7 and 3 over 4 multiplied by 8 and 2 over 9 since we have here mixed numbers or fractions with whole numbers we are going to convert this first into improper fractions uh, we will multiply the denominator with the whole number we will have here 4 multiplied by 7 and then we add the numerator to the to their product and uh, plus 3 and for the denominator just copy 4 multiplied by 
Okay, we need to convert this also. So multiply 9 by 8. And then add by 2. And copy the denominator which is 9. So 4 multiplied by 7 is 28 plus 3 that is 31 all over 4 multiplied by so 9 multiplied by 8 is 72 72 plus 2 that is 74 all over 9 and then let us see if there are numerators that can be divided by the denominators so 31 cannot be divided by the two denominators let's try 74 so 74 74 and 4 2 is common between 74 and 4 so we will divide 74 by 2 so we will divide 74 by 2 74 divided by 2 this will be equal to 37 and 4 divided by 2 this will be equal to 2 we will now multiply all the numerators we have here 31 multiplied by 37 and we have here 2 multiplied by 9 31 multiplied by 37 this will be equal to 1147 and then 2 multiplied by 9 is 18 now as you can see our numerator is bigger than the denominator so we need to get the whole number here 1147 divided by 18 the whole number is 63 and the denominator is still 18 just copy the denominator and for the numerator that will be 1147 minus the denominator which is 18 multiplied by the whole number which is 63 we will have here 63 and the denominator is 18 and for the numerator 1147 minus 18 multiplied by 63 this will be 13 therefore 63 and 13 over 18 is our final answer